Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Basic Series 48, also known as the WrestleMania Heritage Series Brie Bella figure. This is Brie's first basic released by herself, uh, so I was pretty excited to get it as it is a more current version of her since her uh, Bella Twins 2 pack release. Um, that being said, let's take a look at her fresh in the packaging. As you can see, there's a picture of Brie there, the WWE logo. There's Brie in a standard pose in the WrestleMania Heritage Series logo at the bottom. She's superstar number 21 out of the basic 2015 line, and it says Brie Bella on the side. Looking at the back of the box, there's a WrestleMania 30 logo there. There's a picture of Brie, it says Brie Bella, we create the action of WWE. Also on the set is Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, John Cena, Booker T, and Randy Orton. It says compete in the Superstar Rings, pictured as a Raw Basic Ring and SmackDown Basic Ring, as well as company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at her fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Mattel WWE Basic Series 48 Brie Bella figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good figure. I'm not sure how I feel about the scan. To be honest, it's not my favorite one of her, um, but it, her attire is pretty cool as it is pretty detailed. Uh, this figure is really hard for me to find. Uh, actually, the series was really hard. Um, when I was away at grad school, I could never find this series, and then when I came home, the series was everywhere. And I only saw her once, um, but one of my friends, uh, Frankie, I think it was, helped hook me up uh, with the figure, so thank you, Frankie, for that. Um, anyway, that being said, let's take a look at her up close. So here's her uh, latest head skin. I don't know. I'm not sure if I feel it really looks like her. Um, you can see the detail in her hair. She has her headband, which is cool. She's smiling. It's a ball-jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. Her hair kind of makes turning her head funky, as you can see. So just be careful with that. But you can see her hair goes pretty far down her back there. She's got her black top with the cool like dragon designs on her breasts there and then it's fully black in the back. She has the hidden ab crunch joint that all the diva figures have so you're basically getting an elite figure for the price of a basic which is always nice. Uh, she has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. She has swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints and she has black wrist tape on both wrists. And she has a swivel wrist joint, as the Diva figures do not have the extra joint there. She has a closed fist here and an open hand here. I'm not a big fan of this open hand. I wish they would change uh, that hand. Maybe they will eventually. Uh, looking at her lower torso, she has a swivel waist joint. You can see her belly button there, which is a little cool detail uh, they added. She has her uh, short black tights on and wrinkles to make it look authentic. She has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. She has a swivel thigh joint. And she has regular basic knee joints with, I believe, painted on like black knee pads or socks. I'm not sure what she wears. I'm assuming they're supposed to be pads. I don't remember. Um, and then she has her awesome kick pads with like the dragon designs on it. I believe that's what that is. You can see the other details there, but they are really cool. Sorry, the camera. Come on, camera. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you can see all the cool detail in the boots. And she has a swivel boot joint as well as the ankle joint that goes up and down. And yeah, that's Brie. It's a cool figure if you're able to find it. Good luck if you haven't yet. I know it's probably been out a while since you'll see this review, uh, but I do recommend picking it up as it is a cool figure. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.